Hello and welcome to another CAD Advanced How To video. Today we're going to be covering the terminal. So the first thing to cover with the terminal is to look in the config. Uh, there's a number of options there re relating to it and uh, how it behaves. So we've got a number of commands and a number of key bindings. So if we look at the first one, um, this is to open the uh, terminal uh, and the default there is TO. Uh, with key bindings, we've got two keys bound to opening the terminal. So in this case, it's left alt and seven. Uh, you can change these however you want. I'll put a, a link in the video description to the uh, page that describes all the key bindings. Um, if you want to change any of those, you just change um, each of the values here. Uh, if you want the keys uh, just to use a single key to open the terminal, um, just change the, the value of the first binding to nil and then uh, whatever you enter for the second one will be the key that opens the terminal. And that applies for all the key bindings with the terminal. So the next command is uh, to close the terminal, TC, um, and similarly we've got key bindings there. Uh, and MT, if you want to put the terminal into move mode so you can move it onto the screen wherever you want, uh, then we've got the command and the key bindings there. So that's how the config works. Uh, let's go in game and have a look at what happens there. So here we are in game and uh, the first command we saw was TO. So let's uh, do that to open the terminal. And we can see that the terminal first opens in the top left corner, but we can uh, move that if we want. So we just uh, grab it with the mouse and move it to wherever we want it to be. So let's stick it there and then click the button to go back into normal game. Um, and also closing the terminal. So we've got terminal, t terminal close TC. So that's basically it. So, and it'll then reopen obviously. And any changes that happen within the CAD will obviously be reflected here. Um, so it's a very easy and quick way of just seeing what's going on in game. So that's it for this video. Quite a short one this time, but uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.